Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and this week we've got some more new products. First up from CZ, we have their Scorpion Evo S2 Micro Pistol. Uh, this thing is uh, quite the mouthful in a uh, pretty compact package. So do a little unboxing for you here and this is how you get the uh, S2. I'll go through the features on it real quick. Uh, for a uh, PDW style setup, pretty tiny. So this is the whole, whole gun right here. I'll pull out a mag here as well. You get, of course, the pistol, two mags, then you've got this uh, cleaning snake for your bore. Get that out of the way. And uh, here's the S2 Micro. So it comes most notably with the PDW style brace at the rear, and it's pretty easy to uh, extend and get in the full position. You simply grab it and pull. It only has the one position, open or close. To collapse it, you got this nice button on top, and you can get it depressed. Uh, thoughtful on this side, they got a QD socket. I thought, I thought it was pretty nice of them, also out of the box, to actually include sights. Uh, so a front and rear and bus uh, sights on it. Now for controls on this, if you're not familiar with the uh, Scorpion, it's a nine millimeter uh, PW or, or pistol caliber uh, setup. Uh, you have your safety right here, mag release, comes with these cute little 20 round magazines. Uh, and then charger handle up top, you can lock it back by locking it into the fully locked position right there. And once fully loaded, you can, of course, do the fun slap down. I'll show you on that side a little bit better. Of course, with the magazine inserted, can't do that. It does lock back on the empty magazine. And then with that out, you can drop it like so. Right here, you've got your bolt hold open. Uh, up front, they've got M-lock handguards. So you got a few attachments there on the bottom, and they're also nice enough to include this Magpul hand stop so you don't do anything uh, dangerous with your uh, digits. And then up front, they got a faux suppressor. It, right here, they've got a silencer co, kind of like their Osprey, uh, but it's a dummy can there for really aesthetic uh, reasons only. So it kind of lends to just the overall look of the pistol. Up top, you do get uh, the Picatinny rail, the full length, which is pretty nice. So you can put whatever red dot optics on there you want. So. This is a pretty neat setup, and you should also take note that Magpul has accessories out for these now too, so you can replace the grip, get Magpul magazines, and you're all set with a pretty neat little package. That's a CZ Scorpion Evo 3 uh, from CZ. Then new from Daniel Defense, we have two charging handles. Well, one and the same. This is AR-15, and this is 308 uh, DPMS pattern uh, AR. Uh, I'll just show off this guy right here. So this is their grip and rip charger handle. So it's ambidextrous. This is obviously both sides right here. You activate one side and you'll notice only the one side actuates. So you pull one, it only undoes the latch or actuates the latch. Doesn't move the other side, which is pretty interesting. Uh, those latches are held in place with the coil spring. So that's nice and robust. So you're not gonna, when you're hammering on this, you're not gonna snap that roll pin right there. It's a nice coil spring pretty robust. Otherwise, the quality and features you expect from Daniel Defense. And then for Brownells, if you've been eyeing a BRN Proto, you can now purchase the barrel assembly by itself. Uh, this one right here happens to be a Blem version, and you can get these at a great price. Uh, and the only thing blemished on them is the gas port location for your tube. Uh, so what that means, you can purchase the barrel, and you got an awesome one in 12 twist chrome line barrel. Just pop off the front sight base, and then use it for another build, build, or you could use a gas tube and then re-drill that gas tube locating pin uh, for your gas tube, and then you're otherwise set up, good to go. Features on the barrel, a 20 inch chrome line, one and 12 twist. Uh, the front sight does have, uh, I'm sure, the front sight base has the front sight post installed, as well as the sling swivel, round handguard cap, and at the rear you have the retro style slip ring, the non-delta ring style with the entire spring assembly installed. You will notice here too, it does have a rifle receiver extension, so no M4 feed ramps. And then up top, you've got a uh, half by 28 threads. You can see the chrome lining uh, robustly applied right there. So that's the BRN Proto Barrel from Brownells. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.